My name is Samuel Greif and I work as a TRAC fellow at University of Luxembourg. What we do here is now we build up a new research group on the assessment of uh, transversal 21st century skills. Examples for 21st century skills are, for instance, problem solving, but also skills in communication and in collaborating with each other. Problem solving has been around in research for quite a while, but it was only with the advent of computers into assessment that we could develop problem solving tests that actually could in a reliable and in a valid way tell us whether people are good problem solvers or not. In fact, this recent development has led to the inclusion of a test of problem solving in the PISA 2012 studies. PISA that is uh, the program for international student assessment, arguably the most important education large-scale assessment worldwide. Our contribution to the PISA study was the development of the framework for problem solving, the theoretical framework, and subsequently the development of the items that now run in the PISA tests. But our involvement in the PISA studies is not limited to PISA 2012. We are also involved in item development and uh, theoretical development for PISA 2015. In PISA 2015, collaborative problem solving will be assessed, an extension of problem solving towards well, doing that together with other people, doing it in teamwork. There were several aspects that actually, well, made it an easy decision for me to come here. First of all, doing independent research, having an independent research group, of course, is extremely attractive. Secondly, the research surrounding here at the university is very active and uh, fits very well with, uh, with our research interests of uh, problem-solving assessment. Last but not least, um, the support provided by the FNR. For instance, in terms of soft skill development, all attract fellows that have a coach over the five years is something that uh, well, you hardly find anywhere else in research. I am Oliver Kohns and my research project is called Aesthetical Figurations of the Political. And we are dealing with the connection of aesthetics and politics. How is politics perceived aesthetically? How is it performed aesthetically? And this is highly relevant because the question of political representation and also of aesthetical political representation is always disputed in the political discourse itself. The connection from the question of political aesthetics today to the literary representation of politics for example, in, in novels of the 19th century, is quite simple. It's always the question of what is good political representation? What is a good politician and how does he represent himself? The Attract program wants to attract young researchers to do their investigations in Luxembourg. And the, the attraction is the possibility to build up a research project and to lead it for five years and to have an unlimited contract at the University of Luxembourg, which is highly attractive, of course.